Have you ever asked yourself, what is the stuff around us? What is it really? Why does it exist? Why do we have a universe of something rather than nothing? And now Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared, helps us understand what this something is in our universe. E is energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. What this equation is really telling us that we can have a small amount of mass and multiply it by a very large number, the speed of light squared, and we get a lot of energy. It's telling us that, that mass is just a very concentrated form of energy. It's telling us that everything around us, you, me, the room, the earth, the stars, the galaxies, it's all energy. It's very concentrated energy. For example, this marker weighs about a half an ounce. If this marker were converted to energy, it would be enough energy to power the average American home for over 30,000 years. But in terms of the universe, if we want to determine the energy of the universe, we could write this equation. E sub u, energy of the universe, is equal to the mass of the universe times the speed of light squared. But this equation is only half of the story. It tells us what the positive energy in the universe is. But we also know that there is a, another energy. There's a negative energy. And this is an energy we, don't, we can't see. Our senses did not evolve for us to sense this negative energy. But we know it's there. And when scientists mathematically evaluate the energy content of the universe, they find that this negative energy, which we'll call E sub g, is the gravitational energy in the universe. And it's the negative energy. And the interesting thing is that physicists can calculate what this gravitational energy is. They can calculate it based on the Hubble radius of the universe, the, the mean density of the matter within the universe, and how fast this matter is expanding. And it's a very simple calculation. And when they calculate, they find out that this negative energy seems to exactly balance the positive energy in the mass, in the heat, and in the light. And they come up with the total energy of the universe equal to zero. Now that's rather, rather interesting. It seems to be telling us that we can, on the right side of the equation, it's telling us that we have nothing. But on the left side, we have two somethings. We have a positive something and a balancing negative something. That's equal to zero. It's telling us that everything in our universe, when we add it all up, all the galaxies, all the gravitational field, it all comes out zero. Very interesting. Perhaps this equation is giving us a clue to how we can get something from nothing. On the right side, we have nothing. We have something on the left side. Let's think about the before the universe existed. Before time, before space, we didn't have any positive energy. We didn't have any negative energy. So at that time, our positive energy is zero minus our negative energy is zero, equals nothing, zero. Now, let's imagine that an event takes place. In fact, we don't really have to imagine it. We know from the Heisenberg uncertainty principle in quantum mechanics that, that nothing is an unstable state. It doesn't stay nothing for very long. And this is well verified in laboratory measurements of virtual particle creation and annihilation. So, it's, it's, so we can say that as a universe starts to come into existence from a Heisenberg event, that we can have a very small amount of positive energy coming into existence. And I'll use the symbol one to represent the smallest amount of positive energy 
at the same time being offset by a very tiny amount of gravitational energy equals zero. Now, once this event happens, we have a very small region in the universe where we have we have some energy content. We have positive and negative, but we have nothing around it. So there's nothing. It's like having a balloon in a, in a vacuum chamber. When you do that, that balloon is going to expand very rapidly. Same thing is true about the universe. If we have a very small, tiny universe with nothing around it, nothing to cause any pressure, we have internal pressure on the inside, it's going to expand very rapidly. It's going to expand into what we call a Big Bang. And so the next step in the evolution of the universe, we say the energy increases. 2 minus 2 equals 0. And so we see an evolution in the universe. It may be a little later in time. We'll quickly get 100 minus 100 equals 0. So we see an evolution in the universe. We see how this equation allows our universe to be created from nothing in a way that the positive energy is balanced by the negative energy summing to the total energy in the universe of 0. So could it be that the reason we have a universe of something rather than nothing is simply because nothing is unstable?